So in this first example, we're multiplying two scientific notation numbers together. What you want to do is you want to multiply these quantities together and the powers of 10 together. So when you do that, 3 times 5 is 15 times 10 to the... Now remember, when you multiply and you have the same base, what do you do to the exponents? You add them, right? So that's 10 to the 10th power. But when we look at this number, you can see it's not in scientific notation. We really want this decimal point to be right here, okay, so that there's just one non-zero digit in front of the decimal point. So when we move this to the left one place, we're making this overall number smaller by a power of 10. To counterbalance that, we're going to add one to this exponent. So you're making this smaller by a power of 10, you're making this larger by a power of 10, those counterbalance each other. We haven't changed the overall value of the number. And now we have 1.5 times 10 to the 11th power. Okay, let's take a look at this one. So here we're multiplying, okay, two scientific numbers together. And we've got 2.1 times 5.0, which is 10.5 times 10 to the negative second, because 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2. And you, again, you can see this is not in scientific notation form. We want to move that decimal one place to the left, making this smaller by a power of 10. We have to counterbalance by adding 1, okay, so we don't change the overall value of the number. So this is 1.05 times 10 to the negative 1. Okay, over here now we're dividing. So when we divide, we divide these quantities, but when we divide the powers of 10, because we have the same base, the rules of exponents tell us that we subtract the exponents, the numerator's power minus the denominator's power. Okay, so let's do that. So 2 divided by 4 is 0 0.5 times 7 minus 5 gives us 10 to the second. But you can see this, again, is not in scientific notation. We want a single digit, non-zero, in front of the decimal point. So I'm going to move that decimal one place to the right making this larger by a power of 10. So to counterbalance that, I'm going to subtract 1 to counterbalance, okay, so we don't change the overall value of the number. So that gives us 5.0 times 10 to the first. Okay, last example. Here we're dividing. 3.6 divided by 1.2 is 3.0 times 10 to the negative 3 minus negative 5. It's the numerator's exponent minus the denominators, so negative 3 minus negative 5. Okay, when you subtract, it's like adding the opposite. We get 2, so that's 10 squared. And you can see this one's already in scientific notation form, so we're all set there. So this has been how to work with scientific notation numbers, uh, multiplying, dividing. I'll see you in the next video.